I'm in love with my girls. I'm in love with them, and they're my best friends, especially as they get older. I, and I know that when I'm in the nursing home, they'll be the ones to come and pluck my chin hairs. <laughs> but he has been from heaven. Okay, it's so wonderful. All right, well, he got married in September, and when he started bringing his wife around us, he would say to me, you have a terrible look on your forehead. <laughs> and I would say, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but he said, Mom, she's my best friend, and I want to marry her. They met in college in, at Berry College. And he said, she's going to be my wife. And, um, and so I tried to, it wasn't anything against her. It was anybody that was going to come in and take my boy. Because he's the best thing that's ever, all right, he's like the best of their daddy. He's like everything their daddy can't be. Does that make sense? So right before the wedding, he said, Mom, she is my immediate family now. You're my extended. I'm supposed to cleave to my wife that's biblical. And I said, why did I show him the Bible? But they had a beautiful wedding, and, um, and, it, and really, when I got in there, and the Holy Spirit was there, and God was in it, and I knew they were supposed to be together, and I love her. I mean, I love her. She's like another daughter to me now. And, uh, but I, honey, I was freaked out. And, but everything is okay now. And then I got to thinking, how psycho am I that I want to keep him forever and have him live in the basement? <laughs> And be a weirdo. You know, that's twisted. So I was able to let him go. And I love her. She's like another child.